So every morning I wake up now and I have a routine. I was pretty good at routine even before the job, but this time I'm gonna tell you guys how I'm kind of like redefining and refining <laughs> how I go about the freelance journey. In my last video, I talked about how I had to go back to a 9 to 5. I was just released from that 9 to 5 at the start of September 1st, and now I'm back in my freelance bag. Now, I will say before we dive into this journey, I have accomplished a lot within that year and a half of being at that job. One for starters is I did sign with a agency and I do have a photography rep and I'm with by Village now. I love it there. Okay. And my focus is hair and beauty these days. So I'm really focusing and channeling all my like energy into shooting beauty and hair. Um, and then on top of that i have astral media so the journey will be a little different um but <laughs> i want to share this aspect because i feel like i don't know i'm in a very like good position to document this and i know that a lot of photographers online question like well how do you go about certain things or just have questions and from mentoring with free juice i feel like i have kind of tapped back into what younger photographers may want to see so i'm going to start to share more of that on my channel too um but a lot of it's going to be self-work too <laughs> because what i found in my journey the stuff that you do to take care of yourself first ultimately matters more when it comes to the creating aspect because you want to be in a energy that is not of survival that is that is coming from a pure place before you really dive deeply into your creation i mean Okay, I don't want to say that because I will say that I know people that create from survival mode and make beautiful work, but it's like, where where do you want it to start pouring your light into? Is it going to be a place where you're going to be receiving that same energy back, you know? Um, yeah. So I start my days creatively and I go to the park okay and I like to whether or not I go to the park or the beach it's either one of the two it's really it really depends on my mood I'm a sag moon so I kind of like different things at different times right now I've been feeling like the woods I've been feeling like okay I want to go for a hike in the neighborhood type of energy um so it really just depends on like where I'm at mentally and I've been in my hiking mode a month ago, I was in my water mode, so I was swimming. <laughs> um, but whatever I do, I really like to connect early in the morning. I feel like it really sets the tone for my day. And I don't really put a lot of pressure on it, honestly. Like, I don't say, oh, I have to walk, like, three miles, you know? Like, I used to do that. I think it was a part of my journey where I used to, like, put pressure on, like, oh, I'm going to commit to this and I'm going to commit to that. So, yeah, but then I was like, okay, you're getting caught up in the goal and you're not really present. So my goal now is just to be present in the moment. <laughs> present in this space and I find that that calm actually is a lot better than putting another check mark on, on this like invisible list to understand that like I'm really safe and alive and I think as a creative understanding that you are alive and you have this opportunity to create something new to create an idea to 
um, connect to other people or just tell a story. Sometimes you just want to tell a story. And sometimes that story comes to you specifically so that it can touch another person so that they are able to see through that. And yeah, I really believe that the things that we grow through and we share later (laughs) really are testimonies for someone else like your story that's why telling stories is so important it's really important because it helps other people see okay I'm not the only one that's growing through this people not feel so alone in the world because boy even though we're super connected I mean people could still feel alone um so four things that kind of like i've been practicing myself personally that i've done on my journey that have helped with like getting me back to center one is acupuncture by natalie i've shared a few videos on here and she really helped me connect back to my creative energy and really center it channel it (laughs) and understand the flow of it and where I'm outputting that energy two is going to be Watsu Watsu is a water therapy practice my client first well like second client for astral art medium but also a good friend Dara to share her practice with me it was a great experience um you're basically in the water and your body is like literally um kind of like yoga in the water but you're floating the whole time they're guiding you through it you go underwater you're above water it's just a beautiful experience and for that it really took me back to um hmm feminine energy mother space like the womb and it really centered I would say it took me back to my inner child like what did I really want for her very very good experience so I said acupuncture want to talk therapy of course I'm just put it on the list, but I haven't been in talk therapy, honestly, since 2021. I just felt like I kind of like exited out of it. I was I felt like I got to a point where I was talking in circles, so I had to I had to let it go. Um, but it did help me along my journey. And another one. <laughs> talk therapy, Watsu, acupuncture. What else have I done? And also just like, this one is a lot more indigenous, but a road opening. And this one is probably not for everyone, but clearing your paths and meeting with a practitioner who is able to do that and facilitate that for you is also good. Um, Because sometimes, We overthink things or our mind is like on haywire. And I think that we forget we have the power to manifest. Like we're going into an age now, which is why I'm starting to make these videos where the mind and making sure your mind and mental has clarity is going to be so important. We've already been seeing it with the internet and just like a flux of things, but I believe that if you don't grasp like your own practice of how to clear your mind and how to center yourself, it's just going to get harder and harder because it will be a point where a war on the mind will rage. And if you are not able to (laughs) get into a center, it could really take you under. So I think sharing the practices like or just sharing ways to center yourself and get back to yourself is very important you know to stay centered and just to stay creative and to stay 
on the right path for your creativity. Aside from just making sure your mind and spirit and body is right, is that the creative journey is not going to be oh, I'm going to get this one big gig and that's going to be the setup for my life. (laughs) Or because I'm working with this person, I'm going to be successful. I'm here to clear that analogy or vision because I think that at one point I was like, oh, I just need to get here. Oh, I just need to do this. Oh, I just need to work with, shake hands with. I think we've all been there. If I have such and such in my portfolio, I mean, even now, if I <laughs> if I get a vote cover, if I get the call today, baby, I'm going to feel away. <laughs> it's a little bit of the ego in me and it's natural, it's healthy. But I do think that we all should get to a point where the... Mm, confidence is so real it doesn't require these credentials (laughs) it doesn't require you to be like I have to work with such and such I have to connect myself to this and I have to do that it's it's a foundation that is so strong it doesn't matter who it's connected to because you already know it's its source at its core. So it's you creating and knowing that the creation is so pure and so true and it's so strong that it's going to it's going to be great. It is great. It's already written. That is something I had to learn, okay? (laughs) That is something I had to learn, even with some of the credentials already done. Um, You'd be surprised though, some people with the best credentials still have, don't have that foundational core within them of belief and faith that no matter what happens to them, they can start again, they can be again, they can renew again. I was watching something and it was talking about how millionaires or billionaires, they always fail. Like failure is a part of the process, which is why in my last video, it took me so long to sit down and make that because maybe it was a little bit of a shame, but also it was, honestly, it wasn't always a shame. Honestly, it was really just me shifting and trying to figure out my thoughts and processing still and also finding where I wanted to talk about it I think where and how you talk about it also evokes how the video comes out but like that was failure to me to have to go back to a (laughs) nine-to-five that was failure to me and I was so I was fighting myself I remember being on the phone with my mom and I was just like ma I have to go back to a nine-to-five this is so out of body for me I hadn't worked for like four years I hadn't had anything on my resume for four years when it comes to like clocking in and she was like Jasmine actors people in like film they always go back and work as a bartender or something what are you talking about and I was like yeah but I'm not like really into that (laughs) I'm not in that industry I'm like I'm a photographer like what is happening but I just didn't understand why I had to backtrack and I'm just here to say that sometimes like that failure is there or quote unquote failure or is it just a slingshot is it just like about to get you into your next thing because right now I feel so much stronger than I did like a year or two ago walking on unstable foundation like the creeks in the floor were definitely rocking but now it feels like my floor is solid like it's cement okay hardwoods baby and before it was 
it was plexiglass or something. I was like, you know, I wasn't properly made. <laughs> so I'm saying all this to say the foundation is what counts. I was like, sometimes I feel like I'm stumbling through life. Like I definitely have a direct path, but sometimes I feel like I'm like tripping over my feet. But I think you're supposed to. I don't think you're supposed to have all this shit figured out. If we were supposed to have all of this figured out all the time, wouldn't it be boring? I mean, wouldn't it be pointless? You know? Um, but yeah, these are just thoughts. <laughs> these are just thoughts, y'all. I'm just talking. Hey, it's literally. But comment below. What do you think? Have you fallen? Have you failed? Also, have you felt shame through that process? How do you feel as a creative when it comes to accomplishing? Do you put a lot of pressure on the things that you do? Or do you find that you kind of just create and just let it be? I think that's a very beautiful place to be in as well. It's just to just create. And what happens, happens. Whether you sell a million things or you don't. Just create. So comment below i wonder what i'm gonna title this one a day in the life of a black girl she takes a hike <laughs> anyways master your gaze out there love yourself start thinking about your foundation your beginning are your floors strong <laughs>